Hey guys, I want to reiterate 1,000 times over, this is the Oda and the Violet Sparkle, I've been interweaving them. Anyways, I want to iterate one more time, like completely over, um, we are going to be pushing out quite a few videos as we taste test these things for our yard. It's uh, kind of like a log for our personal journey this year and all the unique different things we're trying to grow. I don't know what's going on right now, we got some serrano peppers from the farmer's market and Angel says she wants to try one, so... I've never actually tried a serrano pepper before, and so I'm, I've heard that they are spicy. But I'm going to give it a little test. It is spicy, but not too bad. It's actually a lot milder than jalapeno. Tons of seeds. Mm. It's getting hotter. A good salsa pepper. The serrano? Let me go. Uh, There's just so many seeds. It makes it hard to chew. But if I take the seeds out. How hot is it? Hot. Hotter than jalapeno? The further, the second bite was further up the pepper. Probably about a mild jalapeno. <laughs> I can't let you out, do me. Here, you take the camera. So, these are serranos from the farmer's market that we got. This will probably go into a separate video by itself anyway, so we can kind of show these. we got a bunch of these in the fridge. What we've thought about doing is just drying these entire pods. Um, we should probably keep these out of the fridge too. You could almost save seeds on these and stuff like that, but three bucks. We got boatloads of these serranos. Peppers, oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. I don't know what you got me into. <laughs> I also have a what's called a Sugar Rush Peach Hot Pepper out there. It's a, supposed to be a really, really sweet uh, 100 to 200,000 Scoville units. As soon as it ripens, I'll eat that one as well. But When we do hot peppers, I would like to do a rating system. We have what's called thunder and lightning. And basically, lightning is the first bite where the pain level is. Um, there's some peppers we've noticed, like the ornamental peppers. On those, we've been able to eat, and it's like a lightning strike. It just hits really, really quick, but it doesn't really last really long. What I've noticed is jalapeno peppers, for example, are ones that I have a hard time taking. Even though their heat level isn't necessarily too much, what ends up happening is they're more a pungent and more of like a thunder kind of heat, which kind of just like kind of lingers and sticks around and is hard to get out and spreads really, really easy. So a lightning would be like, you know what I mean, just that quick bite heat that goes away. I think that the sugar rush peach might be that. But this is the serrano pepper. We got a whole bunch of these just for a few bucks. We go down there. Um, we were spoiled last year on a ton of unique stuff that was down at that farm market. They do have some pretty good stuff down there. We have a really, really small town farm market that we go to. But this is going to be the Sereno, and I am going to also give it a try. It is a little warm. It's the lightning strike. It's not like a jalapeno, which is the pungent kind. Oh. It's those seeds, man. Mm -hmm. There's so many of them. I don't understand the seed inside isn't actually hot. It's the shell that absorbs the capsicum oil. And it's an oil that basically forms around the placenta and, the, and around the shell of the seeds. These serrano peppers here, though, have tons and tons of seeds. I might end up separating just the red ones that are ripe. I would like to grow that pepper next year. It seems to be very productive. So um, we'll save the seeds from these ones. We'll let these ones sit on the counter a couple more days and uh, save the seeds from it. Possibly this one too. This looks like a good one. These ones right here we will utilize in some probably bulk salsa. of salsa. We do a lot of shopping at the farm markets and stuff, but... <clears throat> 
This was a serranial pepper. It does have a little bit of thunder on it. It's still lingering. It was like a lightning strike right where it hit. It's not going to overwhelmingly hurt me though. So I, I would say it's not a snacking pepper, but this is probably an excellent pepper for uh, if you're looking for a medium heat, possibly a little bit higher salsa. You could use a bunch of these. So I'm not sure the price of peppers like in the store and whatnot, but if you look around, usually somewhere in your neighborhood, even if you live in a small town like we do, you can find a farm market. And in those farm markets, you know, sometimes you can find people that are just like you, like-minded people doing their own thing. Maybe we'll uh, see if any of them will give us an interview or a show of what they do down there one of these days. But this came from a place called Marigold Gardens. I will provide a link in the description. It's the serranio pepper. It is kind of spicy. Really good deal, three bucks for a handful of some really, really good stuff. We will put this into our pepper pusher video for 2018. Love you guys. Really quick before we get this started, we uh, wanna be able to do the tomato tester and the pe uh, pepper pusher videos primarily from things that, uh, plants that come out of our yard this one's the amount of orange, so this wouldn't really necessarily be a tester video, but this uh, beautiful tomato, giant tomato, is uh, one that we are new to, so we are super excited to try it out regardless. Um, it was grown in our zone locally by a person that just has their own little garden. Probably much more space than we do, but... It's between this one and the San Marzano is the one that hits the end bucket for 100% sure for our grow next year. Since we already have the seeds for these and we've already seen them, they've been grown in our zone. It'll most likely be this one over the San Marzano, or we might be able to find some way to get that one in there. But two unique tomatoes that we've seen come out of another uh, garden this year that we kind of really want to give a try and take a better look at. But Angel's going to go ahead and give this a try. It's our first experience with it. Need a bigger knife next time. <laughs> Ooh, that looks very nice on the inside. Mm -hmm. That's a big tomato. This it's probably good. six inches wide. I'm going to try a small piece here. It's a very good tomato. Not too acidic, <clears throat> so I'm guessing like the lighter colored tomatoes don't have very much acid in them. But it's very good, um, flavorful, juicy, meaty, very meaty. Is it sweet? Sweet. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very good tomato. We went with the pineapple tomato this year and we heard about the Amanda. I've been calling it the Amanda Orange. It's just like my... <laughs> Twilight Sparkle Pepper, <laughs> which is actually a Violet Sparkle, but I've got the wrong name for all year. This is the Amana Orange. We're really excited. These are some beautiful tomatoes. We're going to be saving the seeds on these. I'll probably put that in another video. Right now, we're going to get on making our salsa. Love you guys.